The race for the District 22 state Senate seat filled the airwaves with commercials over the past several weeks. And now 100% of the vote is in in that race that covers Fayette County and Jessamine and Garrett counties. The final is uh, a margin is Douglas wins over Andrew Cooperwriter by a margin of 56 to 44%. Fox 56's Bodie Brooks is live tonight at the Douglas Watch Party. Bodie. Night is winding down here at the Sedona Tap House, but about 20 minutes ago, a much livelier scene. Senator Donald Douglas appearing to stave off a primary challenge from local businessman Andrew Cooperwriter. The candidate left here with a group of a little more... Uh, uh, a little over a dozen or so folks that were here for a viewing party about 20 minutes ago. About 9.15 tonight, it became clear that Douglas had won the primary. In the three counties that cover the Senate District 22 seat, he had the strongest support in Jessamine County with a victory of about 900 votes, uh, the margin there in Garrett County, a lot closer, only a 24 vote difference, and there, Cooper Ryder ended up being the victor. In Fayette County, a 400 vote margin with Douglas coming out on top. As the votes came in tonight, he received congratulatory calls from both Senate Presidents Robert Sivers and Congressman Andy Barr and also delivered a victory speech to supporters. Here's some of what he had to say. And what we did tonight, what you're seeing tonight is a bunch of fighters who didn't get in the mud, a bunch of fighters who didn't change their values, a bunch of fighters who didn't change their hearts to try to win. That's what America is about and that's what we need. And I also heard from Douglas's challenger, Andrew Cooper Ryder. He had pitched himself as an anti-establishment candidate, a local businessman, an outsider. He is not quite conceding tonight, but hopes voters that support his brand of conservative politics also have their voices heard while in Frankfurt. Take a listen. Well, you know, obviously, uh you know, we want to see better results this evening. Uh, I haven't quite seen it all reported. But, you know, we always go out for a win. But we know taking the path of taking the stand against the status quo and the establishment is going to be difficult. Once again, it appearing that Senator Donald Douglas coming out with a strong primary victory tonight as he heads into the November election, already looking forward to returning to Frankfurt. He says he doesn't really know much about his challenger, Chuck Eddy, but is looking forward to taking up that match in November. Live in Lexington, I'm Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.